this might be a little too real, but how do I tell my mother that even though I'm 20 years old, I've been working since I was 14, and I know I had to work. I've always had to work for the things that I want. I never got anything handed to me, but I'm 20 years old. I don't want to work anymore. I don't want to do that shit. I'm putting deodorant on because I'm sweating because I just walked up the stairs because I don't be doing any type of physical exercise. So, like, i just been laying in my house for like a week. I got fired from my job because I I'm yelling in, in silence because I can't yell. Because if I yell in my house, I get my ass break. So that's why I can't tell my mama that I don't want to work. Because you got to. You got to get up and go to work, girl. You're 20 years old. You got to go to work. You got to go to school. You got to do everything. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. And everybody I tell, they're like, just go apply for more. Shut up. I don't want to work anymore. Hey, what's going on, good people? In this video, we're going to discuss how younger modern women are starting to really do a pushback campaign against the 1900s women liberation groups, which is something that they are realizing today. It is actually something that's making their lives harder. And we know a lot of the modern women today, they are not about that boss chick energy at all. So, you know, we definitely going to get into it and break it down. But before we do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like the video, and, and drop a comment down below. Not here to waste your time. Let's get right into it. I have a question for them old heads. Who the f told y'all to go fight for the rights to work? Then y'all want to tell us how men supposed to provide. Shut the f up. Y'all the one got up on that stand and fought for us. I hate working. Nobody told y'all to do that. Y'all did too much to prove that y'all that girl. They, it didn't give that. Like, it doesn't give that. You see what we doing? It, it never gave that. It never gave that. I come to the realization that I just don't want to work anymore. Like, it doesn't matter the job, the career path, the location. I just don't want to work anymore. Whoever fought for women to get jobs. Why? Why did we do that? I am so tired. I want to just put my feet up. Like, I am... Oh, my God. Yes, ma'am. You can thank women's rights activist groups that started up in the 1900s. They were straight up played by feminists. But at the same time, they've been benefiting from it. But us men are going to sit back and watch this. But it does feel good to see the chickens come home to roost. Can you support what? my lifestyle, your lifestyle, a family's lifestyle, and give me a better lifestyle than what I can support on but my the thing own? Is, with your... And do it on your own, on your own salary. It's a piece of paper. It's bragging rights. It's not rights. a piece of paper. It's bragging rights at the end of the day. Not... How many women have degrees and don't want to work? Right. That's the That's first thing. Gotta... So I feel like now that women have proven that we can work and be just as successful as men, I think we should go back to where women don't have to work because I don't want to. I don't want to work anymore because I working, I'm working every day very hard and I never had money. So everything is expensive. My so I don't know. I don't know la chingada porque I never have money. I never have money in my wallet, la verga. So I don't know. You know it's this. Take a perk in this hook in this seat. Money swallowed like this. They don't perfect in a kid. We live in a world where society has managed to brainwash women into thinking that they can now become men. Since they can have a higher income, provide for themselves, pay their own bills, buy their own flowers, they've become delusional enough to think that they can become men or that they are men. To the point that they show no respect to men whatsoever. They're out there being promiscuous. 
anything for the moolah. They are so busy trying to match a man's masculinity that they are unable to stay in their femininity. Make it make sense. That's right, my Haitian sister. These fake woke women rights groups were some of the biggest scammers of all time. They pulled the ultimate con on these women. They literally convinced a generation of women that getting a good husband, raising a family is pretty much like freaking slavery or something. And all this was done under the cloak of empowering women. And just to let you know, we don't need y'all. We want y'all, but we don't need y'all. You know you can't afford to go out, right? You know you can't afford to buy any designer clothes. You know you cannot afford to go to anything but great clubs. You know you cannot afford to go out to eat at all, right? To be very clear, not a single time. Mm. I'm speechless. Do you know you cannot afford that, though? I get my lot. I feel like it saves me so much time, though, so I can work on my business. Work on your business. How many hours a day are you working? It depends. Uh, and now I, I'm doing more things now. Any average. An average. How many days? Where hours a day are you working? Five. Then f you don't have time. That's stupid. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry. I'm digging into you, but that's dumb. Mm. That's dumb, and you need to know that's dumb. That's why I'm being rough. Mm. Five hours a day. Oh, poor me. I'm working five hours a day, and I can't cook. What do you mean it saves you time? Mm. To all the people who are like. She doesn't want to work. She wants to marry rich and like have a fantastic life. Oh my God. She must be so lazy. She must like not be very bright. Like she's just not very capable, you know? Let me tell you, I went to Berkeley and I got my master's at USC. I'm extremely, extremely overeducated. And you know what I did with that overly educated brain of mine? I figured out the smartest thing I could do. The most efficient usage of my time, my energy, my resources for the most optimal path. I used that big juicy brain of mine. This brain that has been used in an advertising career, a career in tech, um, international business consulting. I've done it all. I've worked with Heineken. I've worked for Samsung. I've worked for Unilever. I've done things for H&M. And you know, I finally used this big, extremely competent brain and I really figured it out. And the smartest thing that a woman can do is marry rich. So she doesn't have to work. Sis, we simply just don't make as much and we simply don't have the testosterone. So we burn out way, way faster and everything takes a much more intense toll on us. So ladies, honestly, while you still have your youth, your looks, your energy, the best ROI for you is to marry a provider. It's to date high value men. Let them go to work for you. Your job is to enjoy your life. You have so many creative passions. You have so many hobbies. You have so many things you want to be doing. So many things you need to buy. You don't have time for, you don't have time for a job. At least not a nine to five job slaving behind a desk. Mm -mm -mm. Not for us, sis. And that makes me think too, at what point in history technically was women not allowed to work? Maybe we can get a history teacher down in the comments below to let us know. But yeah, was there ever a actual law on books that prevented women from working? Or maybe it was just the fact that a lot of employees would rather hire men. Was it a boys club? A lot of these modern women today, they don't even like to leave their house and go outside and go to work. They would actually prefer to stay home, nestled in their home, waiting on their husbands to come home. To A lot of these modern women would like to stay home and simply perform household duties. I believe modern women who have feminist beliefs, they don't believe in women's rights enough to the point where they got to get out there and work like a man. But unfortunately for a lot of these ladies, being a feminist is a lot like being a man. Feminist women got to get out there and work too. But that's all I got in this video. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. Also, don't forget to follow me on Dating Right Clips and Ronin Passport. Thanks for watching the video to the end. I will see you in the next one.